Now, this is important, and it gets into chemistry, right? Levisol is an ortho-ortho EDDHA. The ortho-ortho is important because those are the positions on some benzene rings that allow for certain bonds to take place with the nutrient. And it's important because it has everything to do with the stability of this particular molecule. Because not every chelate can stay out in the soil in wide pH ranges and, and last very long. But this one can, and I'll show you why. If you take a look at the two-dimensional diagram, I put iron in the middle, it could be zinc, it could be manganese, it could be copper, any of those transition metals that have a positive charge, right? But if you take a look at these two hydroxyl groups, that's where the ortho-ortho portion comes from. And I'm going to use this later on in the presentation because if my thumbs are going to represent those two arms, right, those hydroxyl groups, there, are, there is another EDDHA out there. Don't get confused. If you take one of those arms away, it's an ortho para. Okay, it does not have the stability now because you've lost one of the arms. And if you take one of those away, it allows for microorganisms to sneak in there, break apart the molecule. This has everything to do with the stability and longevity of this molecule. And that's why this chelate is different than any other chelate that you guys grew up with that were basically formulation chelates. Do you know what I mean by formulation chelates? Those are the ones you add to formulations of fertilizer so that they mix together well and don't fall out in your tank. Has anybody cleaned out a tank of cottage cheese when you throw an unchelated zinc into a high phosphorus source? That's not a fun day. That's what happens when you don't chelate, have good chelation.